So we've got our bed ready here. We're using a, a semi dry. It's nice and moist. And when you hold it, it'll form a ball. And uh, it's difficult to do it just with one hand now, but there it'll form a ball and it'll hold together. We could put like a little bit more cement in it, possibly. But remembering when we look at the cement that we've laid previously, it's gone off down there. It's absolutely solid. It's not going anywhere at all. But then when you look at the back of the slab here or the back of the porcelain tiles, this is a 1.2 by 600. We're using a priming slurry from Bal Adhesives and we haven't skimped with it and we want this patio to stay down. And when we look at the cost of using a little bit more priming slurry, you know, it's about, it's about risk and reward. And certainly by, by putting on like this, like as I've always said, like buttering a piece of toast when you were a kid or a piece of bread and butter when you go in and you slap the butter on when you were a kid and it's nice and thick and you know that it's going to adhere. On the back of these, these units, they are nice and clean. So we don't have to worry about any factory dust, manufacturing dust that accumulates on the back of the slab. And this is stuck really well. Now, because that's a cementaceous priming slurry, we've got cement here in a screed. So it's DNA, basically, it's going to bind together really, really well. But the beauty of this, this is made in the same way you would make, um, not exactly the same, but the idea is that we're not, we're reducing the water that we're actually putting in our mixes. And the reason for that is that water is basically not compressive. The more we compress our mortar bed, the, the better it will be for its longevity and integrity. It's gonna just, it's just as more value. It's in the same way, as I've said, like making a, a block paving brick. They're absolutely solid. They're driven over, they're walked over, they're, they, they take a lot, of, a lot of load. And the idea is this, when this is compacted, we've, we've pushed that down now. And now I've loosened up a little bit on the top and that will ensure that we get a good solid foundation underneath our slab. And we we'll call it a foundation because that's what it is. It's supporting that slab and it's a full bed. It's a full, full bed.